Greetings fellow Irfrazier enthusiasts welcome back to our channel today we'll reminisce about the talented actors who graced the cherry sitcom from 1993 to 2004 as we bask in the charm and wit of this iconic show we'll also honor cast members who left us Frazier endures as a timeless classic delivering laughter for over four decades join us in celebrating the assemble that made it a cultural phenomena over 11 seasons we'll explore the memorable characters brought to life by exceptional actors acknowledging those who passed and left behind a legacy of laughter this video pays tribute to these actors delving into their entertainment contributions and impact on the frazier family whether you are a long time fan or discovering the show join our heartfelt journey subscribe hit the notification bell and let's celebrate the souls who made frazier the iconic masterpiece it is Without further ado, let's the tribute begin. Number one, John Mahoney's legacy is etched in the eleven seasons of Frasier, where he portrayed Martin Crane, earning two Emmy nominations. His journey began in Blackpool, England, on June twenty nineteen forty, the seventh of eight siblings born to Rich, a baker and classical piano enthusiast, and Margaret, a book loving housewife. Evacuated from Manchester during World War First. Mahoney's paternal grandfather hailed from Ireland. His acting career bloomed after enrolling in St Nicholas Theatre's classes, a decision catalyzed by dissatisfaction with his former profession. Encouraged by John Malkovich, Mahoney joined the Step and Fold Theatre, winning the Clarence Darwent Award in 1986. Despite battling colon cancer in the mid 1980s and a resurgence in 2014, Mahoney's love for acting fueled his resilience. Residing in Oak Park, Illinois, Mahoney, a private individual, didn't marry or have children, attributing his hesitance to past relationship immaturity. Fearful of replicating his parents' unhappy marriage, Mahoney's dedication to acting and overcoming cancer showcased his determination. On October 27, 2017, he asserted, "I refuse to yield to it because I love what I'm doing so much." John Mahoney's profound impact extends beyond the screen echoing his unwavering passion and resilience in the face of personal and health challenges number 2 bob hoskin among these was academy award nominee bob hoskins who portrayed frazier's abusive high school gym teacher in a series of flashbacks to his school days Hoskins received a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease in 2011, leading him to retire from acting in August 2012. On April 29, 2014, Hoskins passed away due to pneumonia at a London hospital at the age of 71. He is survived by his wife Linda and his four children. Hoskins commenced his acting career in 1968 at the Victoria Theatre in Stoke-on-Trent. taking on the role of a servant named Peter in a production of Romeo and Juliet a year later while waiting at the bar at Unity Theatre London for his friend actor Roger Frost Hoskins unexpectedly found himself being auditioned for a play after being handed a script and told you are next in an interview when questioned about the living person he most overlooked Hoskins mentioned Tony Blair stating he is done even more damage than Thatcher His dislike for Blair reached a point where in 2010 for the first time in his life he chose not to vote for Labour then led by Gordon Brown. Hoskins often joked about his similarities with film actor Danny DeVito, humorously suggesting that DeVito would play him in a film about his life. From his first wife, Jane Livesey Hoskins had two children, Alex born in 1968 and Sarah born in 1971. In his latter years he decided to give up alcohol citing his wife's influence as the reason for embrace his sobriety. Number 3 Robert Loya A Hollywood veteran left an indelible mark with his 2000 guest appearance on Frasier as Stefano. The gruff owner of an Italian restaurant whose demeanor haunted Niles in a memorable episode. Despite his established Hollywood career, Logia's life took a poignant turn in 2010 when at 79 he chose assisted suicide following the California End of Life Option Act. The act directs death certificates to attribute the cause to the terminal illness. 
nor the life ending medications logias official cause of death was metastatic lung cancer post college logia collaborated with theater companies notably at arena stage in washington dc and contributed significantly to establishing theater like the american conservatory theater in san francisco and the mark taper forum in los angeles in 1962 he joined the peninsula players summer theater program his personal life shared with wife judith mahali from 1963 until his 2019 passing bore the blessings of two children tessa and remy robert logias legacy extends beyond hollywood touching the realms of theater and family leaving an enduring impact on those who had the privilege of knowing him number 4 alice plon actress alice plon was featured in the 6th season of frasier portraying the re-character of martin's then partner bonnie plon passed away on june 25 2011 at sloan catering hospital in manhattan due to heart failure a result of a lifetime battle with juvelin diabetes complicated by pancreatic cancer plon shared her life with director joshua white from at least july 1982 until her passing Born in New York City, Plon commenced her career in 1959 at the age of 11, taking on the role of Mary's young son in the Metropolitan Opera's inaugural production of Alban Burks. Her Broadway repertoire included Gypsy, Oliver, Henry Sweet, Henry, Hello Dolly, Rumors, Suskul, and Caroline of Change. Her diverse of Broadway credits, her broad, her diverse of Broadway credits encompass Promenade. The Last Sweet Days of Isaac Up from Paradise Sister Mary Ignatius explains it all for you First Lady Sweet Awfully in her ear National Lampoon Lemmings and Scal The first play Plone was a regular on was the children's television series The Lost Saucer and the Grace National Lampoon Disco Beaver from Outer Space during HBO's early days She made guest appearances on Frasier Law and Order, Third Watch, and As the World Turns, among others, Plone is perhaps most remembered for her portrayal of the new lead who prepares a colossal dumpling as the inaugural meal for her husband Terry Kaiser in two iconic 1969 to 1970 Alka Seltzer commercials. Number five. William Morgan, Shepard's parent, Shepard and Regina, were the foundation of his legacy. Shepard, who passed away on January 6, 2019, at 686 in Los Angeles, had a rich and diverse career. A veteran of the British Merchant Navy during the Korean War, Shepard transitioned to acting, graduating from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in 1958. His theatrical journey included 12 years as a Royal Shakespeare Company associate artist. Notable Broadway appearances such as in Marat Said 1966 and Sherlock Holmes 1975 earned him acclaim including the Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award for the Homecoming in 1995 Beyond stage and screen Shepard left his mark in the gaming world His voice resonated in the Medal of Honor series and the 1996 adventure game Zork Nemesis where he embodied the crucial character Bishop from Coise Malvo His gaming report were extended to Escape from Monkey Island 2000, The Conduit V and Waco Xbox 2002. In 2010, Shepard's voice enriched the gaming experience in Civilization 5, providing narration for loading screens, victory screens, wonders and newly researched technologies. Shepard's multifaceted career continues to be celebrated, leaving an enduring impact across various realms of entertainment. Number 6 Donald O'Connor Among the numerous guest stars who made appearances on Frasier throughout the show's 11 season tenure, Donald O'Connor stands out as one of the most legendary. O'Connor underwent quadruple heart bypass surgery in 1990 and in January 1999. He faced a near death experience due to pleural pneumonia. On September 27, 2003, at the age of 78, he passed away from complications of heart failure at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California. 
born in 1925 to Ward Williams, Edward Chuck O'Connor and Phi Erin in Chicago, Donald O'Connor was a 2000s child born at St. Elizabeth Hospital. The O'Connor, both involved in the world of entertainment, had difficulty pinpointing the exact time and place of Donald's birth due to their extensive travels. If he was a bareback rider and Chuck was a circus strongman and acrobat. With his family originating from Ireland, O'Connor experienced two marriages and fathered four children. His first marriage occurred in 1944 when he was 18, tying the knot with Gwendolyn Carter, 20, in Tiana. They had a daughter named Donna, and their turbulent 90 year marriage ended in 1954. Carter, frustrated by her lack of an acting career, physically abused O'Connor during their marriage. In the divorce settlement, Carter retained ownership of their home and custody of Donna. After their split, O'Connor reportedly left with only the dog and sought help from multiple psychiatrists. Carter later married actor Dan Daly from 1955 to 1960. O'Connor entered his second marriage with actress Gloria Noble in 1956, and they remained together until his death in 2003. They had three children, Donald, Frederick, Alicia, and Kevin. Gloria Noble passed away in 2013. Number 7 Robert Prosky, who left us in 2008 at 77, made an indelible mark during his guest appearance on Frasier, portraying the enigmatic author Thornton, loosely inspired by J.D. Salinger. He forms an unlikely bond with Martin at a sport bar but abandons his latest manuscripts after a critique from Niles and Frazier. Born to Helen and Joseph Puchek in Philadelphia, Prosy, a Polish-American, emerged from a working-class background. He honed his craft at the American Theatre Wing and graduated from Temple University, showcasing his talents at the Old Academy Players in East Falls, Philadelphia. Even after marrying Ida Hove in 1960 and raising three sons Stephen, John and Andrew, the latter two pursuing acting careers, Prose's passion endured. He continued sharing insights into his extensive career through lectures and universities, film festivals, theatre benefits, business groups and cruise events. Beyond his impactful roles, Robert Prose's legacy lives on through his family and the countless admirers of his multifaceted talents. Number 8. David Ogden Steers Over 10 years after the conclusion of that series, Steers made a noteworthy guest appearance on Frasier in Steers' 2003 episode titled Fathers and Sons. He takes on the role of Leland Burton, the former research assistant to Hester Crane, the eventual mother of Niles and Frasier. David Allen Ogden Steers entered the world at St. Francis Hospital in Peoria, Illinois on October 31, 1942. Born to Margaret Elizabeth and Kenneth Truman Steers, his upbringing unfolded in Peoria Heights, Chilica and Urbana, Illinois. Later, the family relocated to Eugene, Oregon. There, he completed his education at North Eugene High School and briefly attended the University of Oregon before pursuing studies at the Juilliard School in New York City, culminating in his graduation in 1972. Steers initially graced Broadway with his presence in 1974, making his debut in The Magic Show, in the minor role of Fieldman. His Broadway journey continued with appearances in productions like The Three Sisters and The Beggar Opera. Early on, he garnered credits with roles on television series such as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Kojak and Roar. Steers even featured in the pilot episode of Charlie's Angels as the team's chief backup and portrayed a teacher in 1977 television film A Circle of Children, centered around a school for special needs children. In 2009, Steers openly embraced his identity coming out as gay. His passing occurred at his residence in Newport, Oregon on March 3, 2018 at the age of 75. Attributed to complications arising from bladder cancer, Steer left behind provisions in his will for bequests for various arts organizations in his local area, including the Newport Symphony, Newport Public Library, and the Oregon Coast Council for the Arts, among others.
नंबर नाइन जॉन ग्लिन एन आइकॉनिक फिगर इन बोथ स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड अमेरिकन पॉलिटिक्स मार्क हिस इंटेलिबल लिगेसी एज द थर्ड अमेरिकन टू वेंचर इन टू आउटर स्पेस एंड द फर्स्ट टू ऑर्बिट द अर्थ बियॉन्ड हिज ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग अचीवमेंट्स विथ नासा ग्लिन ट्रांजेशन इन टू अ डिस्टिंग पोलिटिकल कैरियर सर्विंग फोर टर्म्स एज अ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स सीनेटर इवन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंटरटेनमेंट ग्लिन मेड अ मेमोरेबल गेस्ट अपियरेंस ऑन द पॉपुलर शो फ्रेज ईयर इन टू थाउजेंड वन पोर्ट्रिंग हिमसेल्फ इन द एपिसोड टाइटल डोक्यू ड्रामा वे आर द रेडियो स्टेशन अप्रूव द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए डॉक्यूमेंट्री ऑन स्पेस ट्रैवल ट्रेजिकली ऑन डिसंबर एट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन गिलन पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ नाइन्टी फाइव एट द ओ एस यू वैक्सर मेडिकल सेंटर द कॉस ऑफ हिज डेथ वॉज अनडिसक्लोज अ सीरीज ऑफ मेमोरियल सर्विसेज ऑनर्ड हिज रिमार्केबल लाइफ इंक्लूडिंग सेरेमनीज एट मर्शन ऑडिटोरियम एट ओहियो स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द ओहियो स्टेट हाउस विद एनदर हेल्ड एट द कैनेडी स्पेस सेंटर नियर द हीरोज एंड लीजेंड्स बिल्डिंग बॉर्न ऑन जुलाई एट नाइनटीन नोटी वन इन कैम्ब्रिज ओहियो गिलेंस रूट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड अ हम्बल बिगिनिंग हिज पेरेंट्स जॉन हार्शल गिलेन सीनियर एंड क्लारा टेरिसा गिलेन शेप्ड हिज अर्ली लाइफ फोस्टरिंग अ फैमिली दैट इंक्लूडेड टू चिल्ड्रेन एंड टू ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रेन गिलेंस एंड ड्यूरिंग मैरिज ऑफ सेवेंटी थ्री ईयर्स टू एन ई स्टूड एज अ टेस्टामेंट टू हिज कमिटमेंट एंड लव गिलेंस इन्वॉल्वमेंट एज अ फ्री मैसन विद कनकर्ड लॉज नंबर सिक्स एट एट इन न्यू कंसर्न ओहियो added another dimensions to his rich life undertaking a masonic site ceremony in 1978 he received all his degrees from the grand master of ohio 14 years after petitioning his lodge john glens multifaceted life remains an inspirational chapter in american history This isn't goodbye it's a momentary pause as we embark on new beginnings let's persist in our collective pursuit of exploration learning and growth grateful for your presence in the chapter and until our paths cross again stay inspired stay curious and all heartedly impress the ongoing journey